Hey guys, this is going to be another really quick tutorial on how to make uh, animated grass in Anime Studio. And you can see right here, I just made a uh, drew a little blade of grass, and I'm going to start off by selecting it and hitting Command C and then Command V to copy it and move it one over the copy over, and then hit Command V again, make another one. And then I'm going to hit Q to shape select, and I'll select the first blade. And I'm just going to change the color a little bit to a lighter green. And I'm going to select the third blade and do the same thing. Just change it a little bit. And <clears throat> let's do that. And then we have our grass made. And so now I'm going to add a bone layer and click and drag the grass into the bone layer and now we're going to select the bone layer itself and then go up and uh, select the add tool or add bone tool and we'll just draw a couple bones on the first blade and then um, hit B and click on the canvas this is just going to make it so the bones deactivate so when you add another set of bones they're not connected or paired. So I'm going to hit A, draw two new bones for that blade, hit B, click on the canvas to deselect these again, and then hit A and draw two more. And then we have our bones made for the grass. And I'm going to hit uh, B one more time and go ahead and drag over the tops of all three sets of the bones right here. And then we're going to drag the uh, slider over on the timeline to frame one. And we're going to click on just one of the bones. Or actually, let's make sure they're all selected again. And hit T. And that's the transform bone tool. And we'll click on one of them. But since they're all selected, they'll all be affected. And we'll right click on the first keyframe and select noisy. And we'll go ahead and turn this up to about 9 or 10-ish. And when we play, you'll see that all three of these are um, kind of swaying in the wind. But they're all swaying symmetrically, so what we'll do is go back to frame 1, and then hit B, um, hit the canvas to deselect, then hit... Uh, or select the first bone and um, right click on the keyframe select noisy again and then we'll just change the scale a little bit on that one and even with this open the noisy keyframe open we'll hit B and select this bone oops I guess we have to de or select that keyframe again and then go ahead and change this one also just so it's a little different um, see how that looks. Yeah, now they're all moving separately and they're all different. So now the final thing that we need to do is make a bunch of grass. So we'll make a particle layer and drag the bone layer into the particle layer and select the particle layer and as always come up to the particle options. We want to see the uh, preview of all the particles, so we'll just type in 100 here. Lifetime of frames to zero, so they don't disappear. And then change all of the other settings except the source width and height to zero. And that's just going to make everything stand up correctly and in the uh, right place. So we zeroed out um, velocity, velocity spread, dampening, or damping, <clears throat> direction, acceleration, rate, and spread. And then we'll just change the source width to spread them out, uh, give you a nice variety, mix, mix them up a little bit. And you can change the source height. I'm not going to for this uh, video, but um, if you want to make it look more 3D, you can change the source depth. And some will be closer and farther away. Um, I'll go ahead and change that and then click out of here and select the layer and shrink it so you can see. It looks really th uh, 3D. If I move 
um, the layer around. We kind of have a field now instead of just a flat 2D plane. But for this tutorial, I'm going to make the source depth zero, just so you have like, or pretty close to zero, I should say, um, just for the demonstration, so you can see. And then spread out the grass the way you want, and then click out. We'll move the layer to the bottom of the page or canvas. And then when I hit play, you can see they're all swaying. Oh. Last thing, they're all swaying symmetrically, which we don't want. We want it to look more natural. So go back into the particle layer on frame zero, click particle options, and then hit randomize playback. Now when I hit play, you'll see that every piece of grass is kind of moving separately on its own, and it looks realistic like uh, wind. So that's it. If you have any questions, uh, just shoot me an email. Thanks.